Hello traders, I'm Ignat Barasenko and this is Wave Trading. So today is a bank holiday in the US, so nothing happened here on dollar index where an opportunity to have a bullish wave 3 is still on the table. So I'm keeping my drilling trades and I'm going to buy even more if I see here a bullish impulse with a plain and clear structure. It seems like we've got a triangle which could be wave 4 here on Australian dollar versus New Zealand dollar. So I've got here just one long trade, but I'm going to buy more if we see here a bullish impulse, which could be wave 5. And there's a very interesting moment on pound versus yen cause we've got here a possible triangle, which could be wave B. So there's an opportunity to have another impulse, which could be wave C. Therefore, I've got one long trade and I'm going to buy even more if we see here. A bullish rally is something which we've got here. And I've just bought Turkish Lira because we've got here a diagonal triangle which could be wave C. And also we've got a pullback from the lower side of this pattern. So if we've got here a bullish impulse which could be wave A, I'm going to buy more step by step on each local correction. Another interesting market is Australian dollar where we've got this possible zigzag in wave E or this amazing triangle in wave 4. So if this wave 1 continues, I'm going to open another short trade. And I'm out of the market on Euro pound because we still could have here a wage in wave 1, but this correction, which could be wave 4, is a quite big, so I don't have any trades here and I'm just waiting for a small bullish impulse somewhere in here. And if it happens, I'm going to buy, but if this correction continues, I'll be out of the market. It seems like wave 2 has been formed like a flat here on yen and we've got a bearish impulse which could be wave C. So I've just opened the second long trade and if we see here bullish impulse I'm going to buy even more cause there's an opportunity to have an extension in the third wave. And I'm still out of the market on British pound cause this wave structure is very very difficult. Exactly I can explain how many counts we could have here. But I think it's better to say that I'm just out of the market here because it's a very difficult piece of the chart. And I'm still waiting a right moment on dollar versus crown to buy because there's an opportunity to have a bullish impulse in the third wave. But I'm very careful here because this wave too could be continued, so we're gonna have here a new low. And euro dollar and the same reason that I'm out of the market here cause this correction wave 2 is likely going to be continued maybe in a form of a zigzag. So if we see here a small zigzag in wave B like ABC and then a small bullish impulse arrives somewhere in here which could be the first wave inside this wave C. If it all happen, I'm going to buy to trade this local impulse. But it's going to be just a local short term trade and I'm just waiting when we've got this entire zigzag like ABC in wave 2 and if afterwards we've got a bearish impulse which could be the first wave something like that, then there'll be a very delicious moment to trade just another bearish impulse. And there's a fairy tale on Nasdaq cause this wave 5 is likely going to be continued so I'm holding my 6 long trades. And the same story on Dow index cause this wave 5 is likely going to be continued which means we could have another impulse which could be wave 3. I've got two on trades on oil cause we could have here an extension in this wave 3. So if we see here a bullish impulse in the coming hours, I'm going to open another long trade. We've got a local correction on gold which could be wave 2, I mean we could have here wave 1 inside this wave 3 and this correction could be wave 2. So if we see here a small bearish impulse which could be the first wave inside this wave 3, if it happens I'm going to sell more. So that's all for today's video, have a good day and profitable trades, take care and bye bye.